It's a huge scandal in Finland because nothing happens in Finland. Because it's fucking Finland, dude. That's why. If the biggest scandal in your country is your 36-year-old prime minister doing normal human being shit like partying with her fucking friends, then you're barely a country. The fuck do you mean? Shut up and take advantage of your good social safety nets and keep fucking crying that you are nowhere near as interesting to, to, to cover or focus on. These motherfuckers literally treat their teachers like lawyers, okay? Like they treat their teachers like lawyers. They live in the worst weather conditions and yet still are like incredibly fucking health, uh, happy and healthy too. And then they're like, oh, I can't believe it, dude. It's so funny. No, I know, I know. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about her actual controversies, in my opinion, uh, like dumb shit that she said. But Finland operates like a, like a well-oiled machine. So when your country operates like a fucking well-oiled machine, you're not going to have fun. It's no content, have an ass country, okay? It is a no content country, straight up. You got a sexy ass 36 year old prime minister and even she's no content. Like, think about that. Is she partying? Like even in Italy, okay? You look at somewhere like Italy. Like Italy has a lot of content. Why? They have a lot of fascists. They have a lot of psychotic fucking politicians. In Italy, it's almost illegal not to be, uh, not to take bribery and like do sex parties, okay? Like immediately, the first thing I think about is like Berlusconi having bunga bunga parties. You know what I mean? Having sex with like a 17 year old uh, prostitute. You know, that's horrible. It's content. You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you're in fucking Finland and you're like, oh, oh my God, have you seen the biggest news story? Our 36 year old Finnish prime minister is having non-alcoholic Odell's beverages after everyone else's state mandated bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that she didn't go to sleep at 10 p.m. like everyone else is supposed to. Okay, that's crazy. It's so it's so weird that uh, you know the 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 state mandatory bedtime uh, for everybody is 10 p.m. and and she she went past it. So I guess uh, I guess they got to fucking execute her now. Finns aren't Nordic. They aren't even Scandinavian. I know they're Turks. New York Times acting like the King Rob Ford didn't exist. Bro left a press conference saying he's gonna go eat his wife's pussy. Yeah, like Finnish people. I have a lot of love for you. Okay, I have a Finnish flag back there somewhere. Stay out of the fucking news. Doing weird shit is our business, okay? We have a fail state. We are experiencing the end of times fail state. Also, you know who else is experiencing end of times fail state shit? The UK. You can't, on the one hand, have adequate social safety nets, okay? And an otherwise happy population on your corner of the fucking world and then be like, we have news too. Please remember us sometimes. Please remember us sometimes. Look, our super sexy prime minister, she's partying. Oh, dude, that's crazy. You want to be, dude, you want to, bitches want to be Cardi so bad, okay? You want to be Cardi. You are not Cardi. You got fucking, you, you tried to make news happen off of this, uh, this lady, this 36-year-old super young prime minister because she wore fucking cat ears, dude. Finland, not Cardi, okay? That's just how it is. The cat ears were photoshopped. Oh, that makes it so much sadder, dude. That is so... Oh, no. It wasn't even fucking real. So she didn't even wear cat ears? Did you not know the cat ears were fake? No, because I don't follow Finnish news, man. Why the fuck would I? Why would I follow what's going on in Finland? No content. The cat ears were photoshopped by Finnish Nazis because that's the worst they could think of. That's so funny. Last December, Zana Maria, Finland's 36-year-old leader, was spotted clubbing in Helsinki with friends into the early morning hours without her official phone, on which she had received a message warning her that she'd been exposed to the coronavirus. He publicly apologized after facing criticism for failing to immediately quarantine. On Thursday, Ms. Marin was facing more scrutiny in media and political circles after videos leaked to social media showing her dancing energetically, striking poses, and singing with friends at private parties. Why is that? Like, why is this fucking news? Who gives a shit? Who fucking cares, man? What the fuck? She's a human being. I don't understand. Like, are people just jealous? Because I am. At least I admit. She's out there. She's 36 years old and she's still partying. I can't go for that long. You know what I mean? I can't be the fucking prime minister and then party at night. I can't do that. She can. I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous that she still has uh, the, the engine going, okay? At her 36-year-old uh, age. I can't do that. I'm also jealous that she's not partying with me. I'll admit that, okay? I think she's cute. I would love to party with the fucking Finnish prime minister. I think that would be fire, okay? My DMs are open because I follow you, Zana Marine. If, you, if this reaches your ear, my DMs are open, okay? I, I'm just saying, I do follow you. All you need to do is follow back and, you know, we can make it happen. But having said that, having said that, 
okay, guys, I'm not simping, okay? I'm not, like, trying to go on a date with her or anything. She's married. I just met, like, you know, party. The chatting on the videos left her facing questions about the possible presence of illegal drugs with one voice saying, this gives you a great feeling, but there was no direct evidence that drugs were being used. But that's the funniest part. It's like, first of all, if you're 36 fucking years old and you're partying and there's drugs there, like, what's it to you? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is it to you? Why are you, like, what, what you're, you're bent? You're bent that they're, like, fucking, um, you're bent that, yeah, you know. And it says you'd never live in Norway. Why is he saying that? Drugs are illegal in Finland and she's a PM. Wait, first of all, I'm just saying that, like, other motherfuckers around her might be doing drugs. But also, um, I don't give a shit. But also, there's no evidence that anyone was doing drugs. So, you are so desperately so pathetically and desperately trying to make some shit happen the whole coke part was pretty much a result of 4chan like forms speculating that lasted for months he says he pays too much in taxes that's it that's the reason why he thinks i wouldn't want to live in norway no norway is boring that's probably why i wouldn't want to live there but not because they have a fucking adequate tax system that's so silly i literally advocate unironically and also live it i live the closest to a fucking norwegian tax structure here in the united states i i choose to live in california what the fuck's he talking about let's look at the tax burden of a of, of a norwegian person okay um top marginal tax rate in norway what's the top marginal tax rate in norway the maximum effective marginal tax rates okay is this in norway the effective marginal tax rate corresponds to the percentage that you must pay in tax to the next norwegian kroner you may earn okay so it says salary income excluding employers national insurance contributions 47.4 percent salary income excluding employers national insurance contra wait what why is this say 53.9 percent pension income 44 percent business income 50 percent dividends and withdrawals 49.5 percent what is the effective tax rate oh for people who are taxed as pensioners the highest effective marginal tax rate can be up to 47 point eight percent literally complaining about how lazy or guaranteed a roof over their head okay hold on hold on let me let me take a look this is a repeat of the aoc dancing story there is no effective tax rate how much is the federal tax in the usa it would be a business income self-employed so 50.6 percent so that's higher than uh what it is right now here is what i what i pay right now is like basically what i pay right now basically in uh but they are basically zero corporate tax Not marginal tax rate so the top marginal tax rate in California is 13.3%, okay? Or 14% uh, because there's a one, I think there's, it's going to be increasing to 14%. Uh, the federal top marginal tax rate is, top marginal, is 37%. It's, no, 14%, what the fuck, that's nothing? What do you, no, that's on top of the 37%, you fucking weirdo. In America, you have a federal tax rate and then you have a state tax, okay? In the United States of America, you have a, federal tax rate which is at 37 percent because they lowered it and then on top of that you have a state tax rate which is 14 percent you understand that's uh 50 that would be what uh 30 40 7 4 that's that's 51 percent that's 51 percent that's the like where i live and what i pay is 51 percent in tax uh that is what i pay in my tax bracket that's the top marginal that is the top marginal uh, 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 tax rate. For that 51%, what the fuck do I get back? Absolutely nothing. Because a lot of that goes directly, and that doesn't mean like all of my income is divided in half and then half of that goes to the government. That's just the top marginal tax rate. But regardless, all of that goes to military and fucking uh, domestic military, which is the police force. Most of it goes there, okay? Some of it goes to social spending, but a lot of it goes to that. Not only am I paying basically Norwegian fucking taxes, I'm not even able to get anything in return for it. And obviously I'm not gonna fucking get anything in return for it personally because I'm paying for everything out of pocket regardless, right? Because I ha I'm affluent enough to be able to get away with it. However, 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 I want that money to go back to social programs. I want that money to go back to adequate uh, public school uh, measures. I want that to go back to adequate roads. I want that to go back to a robust public transit system. I want that to go back to socialized healthcare and medicine. So when people fucking say this, so when people fucking complain about taxes in America or compare it to like Norway or some shit, you're paying a high percentage in Norway, certainly, but at least you're getting something in return. In America, you're getting nothing in return. You're getting this in return. It's like a fuck you. Not sure if you talked about this at all, but the freedom con convite. Now there's also an effective tax rate, which is what I need to look at. That's what that's what's uh like actually important. If you have no, you know, if you have no capital, I guess. The top 1% of taxpayers uh pay the highest effective income tax rate of 25.6%. That's just at the federal. So at the federal level, that bears itself out to 25.6%. 
okay? We're not talking about where there's additional taxes like Norway has a VAT. A lot of European countries have a VAT, which is their main funding mechanism as well, which is a regressive tax. It's a tax on the working class. It's a tax on the working poor. But it's a very effective way to actually uh, adequately fund your government, obviously. Uh, VAT is a, uh, a value-added tax. We have VAT here in America, too, to a certain degree. It's a sales tax, but that... Uh, sales taxes is uh, relatively low very 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 low like super low and it doesn't exist everywhere it's not like a federal thing and it and it varies yeah it varies state by state okay in the u.s what okay yeah our sales tax is based off a of percentage there's based off a of value of the item usually i thought yeah a lot of european countries get away with uh lower tax burdens on the federal level for income by uh by using the main funding mechanism as a VAT. Either way, I'm still aware that by paying, paying taxes, you help people on that need is good enough for me. Yes. For example, for example, one of the reasons why, despite uh, a, a a tax rate that uh, the tax bracket that I'm in, that basically makes it so that I am because I don't fucking shelter any of my assets or shell and everything I make, I make an income, and because I am um, enable and not interested in like a. Uh, you know, purchasing capital and, and figuring out ways, figuring out methods of like, uh, you know, buying depreciating assets in a way to uh, offset some of my tax burden or anything like that. Because I don't do any of that. I'm paying like more than fucking most uh, Norwegian people would in the highest tax brackets. Okay. But in return, I get nothing. However, there is some, some of those taxes still go back to funding the roads, funding the schools. And that is still fine by me. Okay. Because those, those things desperately need funding. They desperately need funding. They are in dire need of funding. So I see it as a patriotic thing, paying your taxes. Tax money to the military is the most important thing. Your take is awful. Yeah, dude, I love that. Building the most important, mil building our military is the most important thing. Making our military bigger is the most important thing. What are you on? Yeah, dude, you're right. You're so right. It's so important. Thank God Raytheon and, and all of these other, uh, all these other defense contractors are fucking directly funding their multi-billion dollar industry of, of melting fucking children in Yemen by, with our tax dollars. It's the sickest, most important thing. You're so right. Fuck teachers. Um, fuck, uh, fire departments. Fuck our roads. Fuck all of that. Fuck commerce. You know, fuck focusing on your own self. Just basically build a military state. I'm saying that like, Despite the fucking, um, despite, you know, paying Norwegian taxes and, and, uh, having not a lot of that go directly into funding, uh, the, the most important parts that I would love, like an adequate social safety net, I still understand that the percentage that goes to the social safety net is still important. Okay. The effective tax rate for average salary in Norway is about 30%, not 47.4. That's the maximum tax bracket. Stop paying taxes and just donate to what the government should invest in. Yeah, totally, dude. You're right. I should do that. That's the smart thing to do. The Norwegian welfare is mostly funded by oil money, not taxes, but you still correct. Oh, well, interesting that you mentioned that because I oftentimes point to the Norwegian model and, and ain't maintain the position maintain the position that we must uh nationalize our extraction industries across the board and use all of that uh as a way to fund our social programs and a way to also um as a way to fund our social programs and as a way to uh move towards uh renewable energy anyway parents show up to a school shooting to get their kids and come armed you should probably stress a little more that you don't pay anywhere near the 50 percent effective tax rate for some reason americans have no idea how marginal tax rates work and it hurts my brain no I, that's why I was trying to figure out what the effective tax rate is, like the percentage of the percentage of your fucking income that you earn that year and what percentage of that you actually pay, which is very different than the marginal tax rate. Americans literally think if the top marginal tax rate is 90%, they think like, oh, that means they're going to take 90% of your entire money that you made that year. That's not how that works. That just means up to that dollar, that's the percentage that they're going to take. Future talk about Andrew Tate's influence on their students. I thought this was fake, but I've been seeing a lot more people post it, but we'll we'll cover it in a second. The thread's been locked now. Gen X breaking the cycle is hilarious and not true. Yeah. Can we be honest about this conversation? The average Finnish taxpayer pays about 30% in tax, while the average in the US is like 13%. I support the higher taxes, but you don't just get there by taxing the rich. I support the Finn model, but we should be honest. Honest. Yeah, no, I, I, ta I talk about that regularly. But ultimately, what ends up happening when you're paying 30% of fucking taxes instead of 13% of fucking taxes is that you get significantly more benefits and end up, you end up getting more in return, more bang for your fucking buck because the government has the capacity to make things cheaper, much cheaper than private corporations that can set prices, especially when it comes to, uh, Industries with an inelastic demand, like healthcare. But people do not have the capacity to understand healthcare premiums as an additional tax that they have to fucking pay. They just see that as something you have to consume uh, and, and something that you're paying uh, into. 
They don't see that as an additional tax. They can't comprehend a world in which, like, they can't comprehend a world. What the fuck? I don't pay 30%. Who's paying 30% in America? No, he's talking about he's talking about the effective tax rate for the average worker. But I don't even think that it's 13%. I think it's still higher. I think that chatter was just, like, uh, uh, really uh, lowballing it. But it is certainly lower than the middle class. Middle class taxes in a country like Finland is going to be higher than the middle class taxes. The tax burden in a country like the United States of America. They make all healthcare nonprofits. Man, nonprofits fucking suck too. We'll talk about Andrew Tate in a second. Uh, this is a funny Jabuki tweet, but uh, where the fuck were we? Let's get back to Finland. Okay, let's get back to Finland. Ultimately though, remember, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, but in America, you don't get what you fucking pay for. In America, you pay taxes. Your your uh your your effective tax rate is still relatively high for as little as you get back in return. You get no return on investment for your taxes, pretty much. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people have resentment towards the IRS. That's part of the reason why a lot of people have resentment towards the government. And that's why a lot of people want to starve the government. That's why reactionary ideology sets in a country like this that is consistently benefiting the Republican Party because the Republican Party is slanted towards uh, destroying the federal government and lowering your fucking taxes. But they're not actually lowering your fucking taxes. They're lowering the taxes of the wealthy. They're lowering the taxes of the corporations. And a lot of you dummies literally keep paying a significantly higher percentage of your yearly earnings back in the form of taxes while the wealthy get away with it. That's why they don't even need to use fucking tax shelters in this country because the tax shelters are built into our structure. I wish there was a better way, I wish there was a better way to calculate the true cost of the American experience by adding all this other extra shit that you have to pay for, like a uh, like, uh, uh, kindergarten or, or a daycare, you know what I mean? Shit that like parents have to pay for that you would otherwise uh, get from the government, you know what I mean? The government's not offering an adequate uh, way of, of, uh, of, of, you know, providing a solution. Education, that's a fucking tax. Healthcare, obviously, is the biggest fucking tax. Gas prices and like paying for your vehicle that you would normally be able to undercut dramatically by taking advantage of taking advantage of publicly funded, adequate, uh, uh, adequate public transit. That is a tax. You're paying a fucking tax without realizing that you're paying a fucking tax. That's what people do not understand. That's what people refuse to fucking comprehend.